At Chicago Jesuit Academy, we pride ourselves in having outstanding students, passionate teachers, a dedicated staff, and lots of hardworking volunteers. But what really keeps our school running strong are the people you don't see, the benefactors. A benefactor is someone who helps another person or group by giving money. And the truth is, without the care and support of our benefactors, we wouldn't be a school at all. Benefactors give us the books we read, the food we eat, the equipment we use for sports, and even the classrooms we learn in. They help pay the teachers' salaries and give you a chance to come to this great school and learn for free. So who are these benefactors? What do they look like? And why do they do what they do for us? Let's now meet a couple of our incredible benefactors who make all this possible for us. So I'm Muriel Jean-Jacques, I'm a physician. Um, I take care of adults and I do primary care, so I take care of adults with diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, all that sort of thing. Um, the reason, one of the reasons I became a benefactor is education has already always been a really important thing in my family. Um, my dad uh, grew up in Haiti and he lost both of his parents when he was young and um, was dirt poor. Um, and they had uh, Catholic schools there that um, provided him with full scholarship, tuition, education. And with that, he was literally able to work his way by just studying in school from the literal slums to becoming a physician. Um, and then he moved here. So he instilled in my sister and I just the real importance of education. Um, now working in a, as a physician, and I'm also involved in public health, um, I know from my work that education is one of the things that's most closely tied to good health. Um, so those are just a couple of the reasons why I just wanted to um, be a part of this and uh, make sure that other people have the opportunity to have um, as good an education as possible. So um, I found, found out about CJA, and um, it, the idea of it really appealed um, because it was helping people, uh, students, as I was helped, as I said a few minutes ago, um, but also uh, addressing a, 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 such a, a chronic problem that we have, and it's a tragedy that just by the luck of where you're born, um, th that you live in one neighborhood uh, or another in the city and you have opportunities um, just because you're lucky. Um, um, and so the idea of, of being able to, to, to help young guys at, at this early stage of their life and to help change the path that they're going on has tremendous, tremendous appeal to me. All right, so tell me about why you, you like being a benefactor, what it, what it means to you. Well, what it means to me is that um, I really feel it's very important for education. And it doesn't start in high school and it doesn't start in college. It starts at a very young age. And for a school like this, a great school, to give children opportunities to come to a wonderful school, being a benefactor means that I make that possible for them. Why do I like, why do I appreciate being a benefactor? Well, we've been a benefactor from the beginning because my husband and uh, Mr. Lynch uh, met like on the very first day when Matt had the concept of this school. And I, I, even before I met you kids, any of you kids, young men, I met a lot of the people who were putting this school together. And I've never met anybody uh, more dedicated and uh, more full of love and with mi a mission to make the world a better place. And you are in really good hands here. You are very lucky and I'm lucky too because I get to be part of you and the school. So we're super grateful for all that our benefactors do for us. 
So naturally, we want to thank them. And one of the ways we do that is by writing letters. We share about ourselves, the great work we're doing. We talk about personal stories, successes, goals, even our failures. And it's through these letters that we start to build a relationship. And our benefactors love getting letters from you. If you don't believe me, just listen. I really look forward to the letters because they're very funny. I have uh, two kids in school right now in uh, kindergarten and second grade. And listening to them talk about their day is usually the best part. So um, listening to you guys talk about the day is, is equally really good. Receiving these letters, I have to admit that when we receive your letters, my husband and I sort of fight over them. Um, frequently we receive two at a time, which is wonderful because then we can share. But we get the biggest um, sense of uh, pride uh, because we, we don't get to know you all personally. And we see you growing. It's almost like it's so wonderful to, to from grade to grade, see you kids grow um, intellectually. And uh, it's just a real special thing for us to see what you're doing, how you're handling school. Um, and to be honest with you, a lot of the letters are really fun to read. Uh, you guys have great senses of humor. You have a, uh, a way of just expressing yourselves well. And um, we get a real big buzz out of it, and we fight over you. All right, letter to Mr. William and Mrs. Joanne Conkle. April 8th, 2016. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Conkle, responsibility makes me stronger. This means that the older I get, the more responsibility I have. It also means the more responsible I am, the more my grades go up. That's for sure. My final example is we're being held accountable. We are trusted by our teachers to lead. This means that when something bad happens, our teachers trust that we can handle it correctly. This is how our responsibilities are different from sixth grade. My goals at CJA are to follow directions, stay on task, ignore distractions, and be a leader, but not a follower. I also want to keep all A's and B's so I can be on the president's list. My goals after CJA are to get grades and show respect to the teachers. How many times do you hear that? That your goal is to show respect, that's great. For high school, I probably want to go to St. Ignatius. I went there. The college I want to go to is Notre Dame because when I went there in fifth grade, I saw the school and the cafeteria and it was big. The career I want to do is become a doctor or a lawyer. We're gonna to have to talk. I'm the doctor, my husband's the lawyer, we're the Cosby Show in reverse, so <laughs> come meet us. The career I want to, to do is become a doctor or a lawyer so I can make a lot of money and then I can buy anything. <laughs> then I'm going to give my family the money I have left. And don't forget CJA. Um, that was, that's my editorial. Um, I am thankful for you helping us to learn and making our school about God. I am grateful for your generosity because we have great teachers that we can learn from. Um, and lastly, what is your favorite subject? So you will not believe it, but it is social studies, your nemesis. So um, in sixth grade, seventh grade, I had a really hard time with social studies. I found it to be really challenging. But when I got to high school, I had just an amazing social studies teacher. Um, and help me think about it in new ways and help me appreciate the challenge. Um, and I even kept uh, studying it through college, which most people don't do. There you have it, guys. Some words from our sponsors. Hopefully now you can see just how a simple letter can mean a whole lot to the people who care about us. So when you go to write your letters, share about yourself, say something unique, Write with your own true voice, let your personality shine through, and brighten a benefactor's day simply by saying thank you.